The 63rd Monte Carlo Television Festival, a prestigious event celebrating the best of the global entertainment industry, was the stage for a sensational moment that rocked Hollywood and beyond. Legendary actor Morgan Freeman, while accepting a Lifetime Achievement Award, delivered a scathing criticism of Prince Harry, Duke of Sussex, leaving the audience stunned and the entertainment world buzzing. Freeman's remarks, delivered with his usual seriousness and light humor, were a direct response to Harry's recent actions, particularly his unexpected refusal of King Charles' invitation to take part in the Trooping the Color Parade, a high-profile event celebrating the monarch's birthday. This came after Harry was stripped of his royal titles and military honors. With a knowing smile, Freeman addressed the elephant in the room, acknowledging Harry's presence at the festival. I see a member of the Sussex family is here today, he remarked, a subtle hint of sarcasm in his voice. I must say, I am quite shocked that he had the nerve to show up in public, but he shamefully skipped the Trooping the Color event. The audience broke into applause, clearly sharing Freeman's sentiments. His words, spoken with a powerful combination of authority and wit, served as a powerful indictment of Harry's actions, highlighting the public perception of his behavior as disrespectful and self-serving. Freeman went on to address Harry's controversial decision to step away from royal duties and his subsequent media appearances, which have been widely criticized for negativity and self-promotion. Honestly, what were they thinking? He asked, contempt evident in his voice, to publicly denigrate the monarchy, stab his own family in the back, then make deals with Netflix and Spotify. And now he has the nerve to sneak into our Hollywood event, as if we should all just forget about his betrayal of the royal family. I'm sorry, but that's just not how it works. The crowd murmured approvingly, and their cheers echoed the general discontent with the Sussexes' public image and their alleged use of royal connections for personal gain. Freeman's words, spoken with unflinching honesty and a hint of righteous anger, seemed to reflect the general mood of those who were tired of the constant drama surrounding the couple. He went on to express his disappointment at Harry's lack of remorse and respect for his heritage, stating that his actions have brought disgrace and dishonor to the House of Windsor. This is a man who has no remorse or respect for his heritage and his responsibilities, Freeman said, his voice ringing with conviction. He has brought shame and disgrace to the House of Windsor. And frankly, I think I speak for all of us in Hollywood when I say we're done with this Sussex nonsense, don't you? The crowd erupted into raucous applause that lasted for several minutes, signifying their absolute agreement with Freeman's powerful denunciation. His words, spoken with a mixture of wit, wisdom and righteous anger, resonated deeply with an audience that was growing weary of the constant drama surrounding the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Freeman saved his harshest barbs for the end of his speech, targeting Meghan Markle, Harry's wife, with a scathing dose of sarcasm. You know, I was really looking forward to seeing dear Meghan here tonight, he said, irony evident in his voice. I was hoping she'd regale us with one of her infamous woe is me monologues, but I guess she was too busy recording another empty podcast or bragging about herself in a new interview. The audience erupted into laughter, their laughter reflecting the widespread perception that Meghan appears narcissistic and unfit in the public eye. Freeman's words, spoken with sharp wit and light humor, served as a powerful indictment of Meghan's self-promotion and her tendency to play the role of victim. He concluded his remarks by comparing the Sussex saga to a bad reality TV show that is long out of date and called for the couple to return to obscurity. At the end of the day, the Sussex saga is nothing more than a bad reality TV show that has long since expired, he said. It's time for these two to return to obscurity, don't you think?